What's up guys, it's Jenny. So I'm going to be showing you how to do the typewriting effect on Premiere. Pretty easy. So yeah, let's just get started. So first I'm going to go over here to new item. And I'm going to go with black video. Okay. Drag that onto here. And then I'm going to go to effects. And I'm going to search up tint. And then drag that onto your black video. I'm going to go to effect controls. And right here where it says map black, I'm going to change that to white. You can use whatever color you like, or you could just like use a video or a picture or whatever. But I'm just going to be doing white. Then I'm just going to go to file, new, legacy title, and let's just put type. And you're going to go ahead and just add a new text and just put typewriter or whatever. And I'm going to be using the abolition font, this one right here. You can use whichever font you want, but I'm just going to be using that one. And then I'm going to change this to black over here in color. And I'm also going to space out the letters a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I think it looks a little bit better. So I'll make this bigger. And center. Okay. Then you're going to go to your project and just drag that on top of your black video. Then you're going to go to effects and you're going to search up linear wipe. And it's going to be under transition, so just drag that on to your text. Then you're going to go to effect controls and you're going to change the wipe angle to 270. And you're going to add a keyframe right here where it says transition. Just go to the start and Click this thingy right here that's going to add a keyframe and you're going to put 100 and then go a little bit over here and change that to 0. So now you see it might be a little bit slow so let me just, maybe that's a little bit too fast. You can like change the keyframes like the closer they are to each other the faster it'll be. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then what you're gonna do is you could download like a writing on keyboard sound effect. I usually just use this one. I'm gonna download that. Save. And I'm just gonna drag that on over here. Then I'm gonna use the sound for this. Press I to start it. And then, well, that's too much clearly, so that should be fine. Oh, right there. And just drag the audio right here. And let's see how it looks. Okay, let me just... And yeah, there you have it. That's how it'll look. So if this helped you, make sure to subscribe, give it a like, and comment down below any other tutorials you want me to do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.